Welcome to my messy bench here again. I just gonna have a short clip about this coax L. So basically, I'm having a radio in the car where I cannot plug in the coax nicely from the back and put the radio where I want it. So that's where this cool little L comes in handy because that lets me push the radio right to the back and it does a nice sharp turn but of course everything comes at a price so let's look at the price first of all we have their uh, 50 ohm on the connectors that we're gonna need here just to go down to the PL256 or whatever this is, is you know what it is and just let's check out the SWR. So this is looking fairly good down low. So let's go to the number. So we have there 1.02 at 164. So let's take this off and screw in the L. So let's see what the SWR looks. So it still looks fairly low. And on the number, we see it went up to 1.5. So point, what was it? 1.2, point, point 0.3, it went up. So that doesn't seem to be too bad, but let's see what really that means on the loss. So let's go over to our uh, spectrum analyzer and hook things up there. So first things first, we are needing to calibrate. So I just have the adapters that I need for the coax to be connected directly, nothing else right in there. So we're going, just look at our two meter band. So we have the central frequency and 146 and if you're taking our marker and move that at 146 oh close to enough yeah, that was good so we go back to the tracking generator we normalize and our marker says there is no loss 0 0.01 whatever so basically no loss so what we do now is we put this in and see what losses we get on the signal so let's do the one-handed screwing again The only difference we have now is that L is in here and up there we see already we have a two decibel loss just by adding that L. So that's the cost of having that L in your system. And while the SWR didn't seem to be that bad, it's still two decibel. That is quite a bit, so something to be aware of. Finally, here's the tight radio installation where I'm using the L connector. So the coax work here fits in nicely. Otherwise, it would be a really sharp bend on the coax itself. So obviously not optimal, but then again, I mean, not using the most optimal radio anyway, therefore hitting the repeaters. So that's just something to be aware of. 